So what we have here is a boiler that all steamed up, installed, I would say about four or five years ago. Um, it is an SGO8. And the one advantage of the SGOs is that when we order this in semi-knockdown, the block can be split, which was a big help bringing it in this space because we had to get it through a uh, finished basement. Ah, yeah, that's our uh, analyzer. We're just finishing up on the annual maintenance on this thing. Um, was using a fair amount of water at first until we uh, tightened up uh, loose packing nuts, union nuts, and the uh, always helpful uh, leaking air vents. So now we've reset the VXD to zero. Thing cycles on pressure uh, when you run it long enough. Um, we did an unusual hookup here in that, uh, of course, the outlets are two and a half inches and they go up and we do a drop header into the three inch header as called for by the instructions and then we tied it into a, the original header which was like four inches and so we've got very very nice dry steam coming out of this thing had to do a lot of flushing uh, in the years past because of uh, very dirty water that uh, contaminated the system but we're finally getting that straightened out this is something we do a little differently than we did in years past uh, I no longer make this out of uh, copper anymore this uh, equalizer line um, this would now be made out of iron um, Brought that into a cast iron T for uh, cleaning, and uh, then that's an extra heavy nipple uh, to uh, tolerate the elect electrolytic action. Barometric with a block flue switch here. The old gas line with a <laughs> old gate valve tied in there. That is the secondary. Uh, low water cutoff. We've mounted it there. And that, of course, is the wet return. Uh, one loop comes in, and we've got, um, in order to balance the system, we have a dry return and an end of main to balance the system. We got a Hoffman 4A on one side and a Gorton number two on the other in order to bring the steam to every radiator about the same time as desired. So on the front here we've got a Carlin burner and that's their older um, flame safety control. They've got a newer one which is a lot better, a lot more blinking lights, a lot more display. Um, this is where we've mounted the secondary uh, probe there for uh, secondary low water uh, cutoff protection. That's our sight glass blowdown, which we mount with a uh, quarter inch brass street L. That's the main low water cutoff. And of course, that's the uh, VXT with the uh, manual bypass. The service switch is mounted over there and we tied in with a uh, outlet, GFCI'd, so we particularly in these older homes with the, their funky wiring. We, uh, every outlet is precious. And that's where the uh, water feeds in there, that half inch line. Uh, the floor was in pretty bad shape. We wound up having to uh, cast a slab for this to go on. Uh, that's my concrete work there, not all that great, but so far it's holding up. Got a little bit of effervescence 
coming through from the uh, ground below. This slab here is barely thick enough to keep the dirt <laughs> tied underneath. Um, and that is what we've got. Let's take a wider view of the unit there. Nut tea bag, as they would say. And we're able to uh, flush and clean this system out pretty well. Uh, so it's got uh, nice clean water, which makes for good clean steam.